And so this happened to the E38. This would be the results of sideswiping a city bus. Damaged the mirror. Damaged my fender slightly on the front there. Damaged the side molding there, that piece of trim on the front door. And completely removed the one from the back door and damaged the rear fender slightly. So now we're going to replace the mirror and fix this beast up. And so, as you can see, since the pictures were taken, we have cleaned the area. We do have some damage here. I'll see what all can be actually buffed out. I don't remember if that dent was there before or not. Well, that'll be need to be repainted. We'll probably have to repaint a bunch of it, but we have to do body work on the back anyway because we still haven't done that from that... Uh, rear end with the no insurance we did we do have this new piece on just snapped in place this is a little damaged but we can get over that nothing a little bit of sanding can't take care of we did put this piece back on as best we can it's pretty mangled but it'll do for now and the front piece stayed intact but the fender was slightly scratched up here as well uh, the mirror just folded. It's actually barely damaged. If it really wasn't for just this, I could probably just replace this. But whatever, we're going to replace the whole mirror since we got it. And that'll give me an excuse to open up the door panel anyway to check on that airbag because we do have the airbag code. So let's get to it. Okay, so using my pick, I got this little plastic deal out from behind the door handle, which uncovers a Phillips screw so we'll take that out and then we'll use our plastic pry tool to start popping the door panel off A couple things it's right up there at the top. Wires running to it. It's plugged in. I don't see any damage in the wire, so I don't know. I gotta plug it, plug it back in. But there's our new mirror. So I can see these two. That one's not visible. I'm guessing it's behind some weather stripping. There's one, two, and then you just move this stuff out of the way. And it's right there. So, we'll see what size those are. And we'll go follow this down, unplug it, and then we'll get our mirror out. And the T30 is what we're going to need to take these three things off. Okay. So there was a zip tie here that I went ahead and cut off that holds these two things together. This is for the mirror and I unplugged it from down here. So there's a hinge on this thing. You press down, move the hinge out of the way and then simply just pull the uh, pull this thing free. So all right, now we can push it through the hole and pull it out.
All right, so we got the grommet back in place. We got the three bolts secured. We got this thing routed down behind these wires like it was. Got a new zip tie there to hold it in place. Goes down and is secured in place. So remember this hinge lifts all the way up. Slide it in and then you flip it down and it goes in the rest of the way. And now we can reaffix this. The door panel back on and we're golden. Should have a fully functional mirror that's no longer damaged and unsightly looking. That's it. We're back together. Well, the door's locked. I can't. But uh, you want to check to make sure everything works right. So unlock. Okay, that moves up and down like it should. Door handle works from the outside. It also works from the inside. I already tested it. And then uh, the only thing that makes me sad now is this door panel is kind of like the driver's side one now, where this one was like nice and tucked underneath of this and perfectly good. This one's not now, it has come disconnected. So one of these days I'll have to re-glue that and make it good and golden. But for now it is what it is. And the mirror does move. I'll assume the heater on it works. I'll assume it dims and everything. Can't test that out during the broad daylight, but everything else on it is golden. So there you have it, we're done. That's how you replace the mirror and get inside your door panel. Thanks for watching, peace.